I was working uh, on what we call a maintenance shift. And we start very early in the morning, approximately four o'clock in the morning, and finish it at uh, 12 noon. I was just, um, you know, clearing away, I was gathering all our tools together to put away, and I just leant over and I had such an explosion. And well, within seconds, I was just knocked off my feet. And um, I tried to pull myself back up and I couldn't move my left leg. And I'm just fighting this loud noise and then realised it was a hose, what a burst. And it was just wafting so, so, so fast. You know, it was just so noisy. Everything wafting about and trying to protect myself and it took chunks out of the arms. And it then severed on my hip area. Fluid got inside my body and fluid went around my body. It cracked every rib down. My right hand side, it, um, it took a piece out of my bowel, um, punctured my lung. I'm travelling out the morning and my lung is under my arm and it's so big it felt like a football. I couldn't wait to see these people while well, the paramedics was there. And everybody just jumped on me and um, you know, they put a chest drain in. And then we'd been transported into an ambulance. And I assumed at that particular time I was, I was, I was on my way to hospital. And two or three minutes later, I'm then being taken out of an ambulance into a helicopter. I mean, <laughs> this particular time, you know, I am petrified of flying. Petrified. But that day was the best flight I ever had. They say, if I'd have gone by road, it would have taken 50 minutes to an hour. I wouldn't have made it. I was deteriorating that quick. You never know. You never know if it's going to be you. We need these services. These services save lives. There's no doubt about it.